Hello friends, I'm Dorian Larson Demetrilius. I've invented an alternative fuel motorbike that incorporates uh, fuel reformer concepts that involve thermal energy recovery uh, from a combustion engine's exhaust. Uh, this video is to draw comparisons in the fuel reformer technology uh, that is uh, the heat reactor and the thunderstorm generator. Uh, so I've drawn on my uh, whiteboard here uh, uh, these are uh, the thunderstorm generator uh, and the GEAT reactor. And I've depicted a dual chamber reactor here in this diagram. Um, so I've uh, listed here, uh, there's about five different similarities between these two systems. Okay, and both can be compared to a turbocharger, uh, which is similar in that it uses thermal energy recovered from the exhaust to run a process. In the case of the turbocharger, it's building boost and forcing pressure into the engine, which puts power back into the system by helping drive the pistons. Uh, now, in the example of the thunderstorm generator, you have these uh, spherical-like chambers, kind of shaped almost like uh, a femur bone. Uh, and you have uh, water vapor is going to pass through this chamber. Similar to that, in the GEAT reactor, you have a chamber that's dedicated to running water vapor through with this dual reactor setup. Okay, so... Um, both are engine mods for a combustion engine. Uh, they incorporate thermal energy recovery and they create a feedback loop of vapor electrolysis uh, that produces more fuel, which then gets routed into the engine, which produces more hot exhaust, which helps sustain the process, which is why we refer to it as a reactor. Uh, so, both are incorporating uh, what is known as the Seebeck effect, which is a thermal electric generating uh, effect, which occurs in the thunderstorm generator inside of this portion of it, uh, the, uh, the femur bone here. Uh, hot exhaust is passing around the outside of it. Uh, as it exits from the engine, the hot exhaust will swirl around and making it like a tornado that actually spins this chamber. Water vapor moves through it, and the Seebeck effect occurs because the, the water vapor, as it evaporates, becomes very cold. So you have very cold and hot vapors moving in opposite directions. And it's the same thing that occurs in the chamber of the GEAT reactor. Uh, and that results in an arcing of static electricity that occurs inside of these spheres that is ionizing the water vapor. And then it goes into the engine. And uh, this is uh, helping ignite the fuel and burn it very cleanly. Uh, and the idea is that the plasma soup of protons and electrons actually um, has some alchemizing effect on the carbon, converting it into oxygen. This is the only way to explain why you'd have 20% oxygen coming out of the exhaust of the thunderstorm generator. And the same thing has been claimed about the GEAT reactor. Uh, so let's see, uh, fourth uh, is that they're both producing a plasma fuel synthesized by vortexes and it's using water vapor as a supplemental fuel. Uh, so thermal energy wasted by the combustion engine becomes reclaimed to make a fuel gas. Um, and so in the GEAT reactor, you have these uh, bullets. They're made of steel usually. And the idea is that the heat is uh, transforming into static electricity, which arcs off of those bullets. And as the water and fuel vapor move past them, they become ionized. And then at the top of the bullet, there's a little divot that is actually supposed to cause the fuel vapor to move through it and get pulled into that divot. Kind of like at the back of a semi truck when it's going down the road and it has all that drag that it's creating as the air is moving around it. That creates a, a pocket of low pressure that actually causes implosion, allegedly. Uh, this is helping to further deconstruct the molecule down to its atomic parts and make it into this plasma soup. Uh, and both of these concepts 
uh, are utilizing that Seebeck effect of creating vapor electrolysis. Um, so uh, I am advocating uh, for there to be local research and development laboratories that are building prototype generators and to corroborate the claims about uh, these fuel reformer technologies. Uh, I want to build a lab here in Phoenix and I would like to be in contact with uh, people around the world that are also working on developing these systems because it is the solution to climate change. It's the solution to resource wars and refugee crises. We can have a totally new world that is much more wonderful and beautiful to live in. So thank you for everyone who's interested in what I have to say about this technology and what I think is possible with it. Cheers, one love.